good. But yeah, I, f I feel like he would want more to stick to the bottom lane. But yeah, if, if he started rotating early, because uh -oh. Kuku, yeah, let's see, yeah, it looks like a kill. Yeah. Yeah, he took the uh, boulder smash here, level one, which means there's really no way out. Nisha, one trying for the deny. Oh, and oh, no. he's not going to be able to get it. There's yes. blood there for Thompson. What a start. Yeah. And the second thing is, uh, we've all seen Puppy Ench, right? Very strong. Getting that magnetize up. Of course, lots of damage. I think one cast is something like 550 damage. And, uh, of course, allowing you to spread your status effects. Not to others, but they're going to make the jump oh, now from in. behind. And in goes Cuckoo as well. The Cogs are trapping in Nisha, but look who's here to fight. It's Chrysalis. He's going to turn into Topson. Gets the toss, but actually gets his mana burn now. As there's going to be the roar onto Topson. Cuckoo can kind of just kind of linger in the area as he flies oh. around. But Topson with a four-man make that avalanche. Crystalis giving chase, has an avalanche now of his own, and still a toss is just going to catch Topson here. Boulder Smash does catch him as well. And Secret eventually rewarded with two kills here in exchange for Nisha. Yeah, very close there. Nah, unfortunately they had to fight three on five, right? And then, no matter what you do, your blink dagger. So frustrating, uh, close. See what that's big timing for him. Yeah, right. So it was like 15 gold away or something like that. Okay, nice. White mom breaking the smoke, but ooh, Sayak just rolls in. Oh yeah, and they've actually miscommunicated there. They're gonna split the gap there. As Nisha charges on through another fantastic oh, no, cancel. As Sayak's gonna die. Ta Okay, nice. White Mom breaking the smoke, but ooh, Sayak just rolls in. Oh yeah, and they've actually miscommunicated there. They're gonna split the gap there as Nisha charges on through another fantastic oh, polarized no, cancel as Zayat's gonna die. Topson though in trouble as Crystalis is still here. And uh, it was the rest of T1, or at least Zephyr and White Mom who were focusing down onto Zayat, and Topson kind of fighting alone. Yeah, very frustrating to die. Cougar's also about to get a pretty big item online for himself. The Blink Dagger, operational soon. Doesn't have the survivability of the BKB quite yet, but again, he did go for double bracer, phase boots, armor, of course, uh, and that Hunter in the Night. Uh, there's Nisha going for the Onslaught in. They want this kill on the Zayats, but Ana Ooh, Ana the Chrono, going he's going to catch two. Two cores at that. Nisha as well as Rezo, but there's not one really nearby. Now in goes Topson. They'll add a Blink onto Nisha. They're going to cut through Rezo. And they'll get through uh, Nisha just as easily. Cuckoo as well with his blink dagger, or not blinking in, just simply getting on top of Puppy. DD room, but Puppy's so tanky here. Very hard to deal with. Especially now he's going for a hood of defiance on the edge. Oh, we're back towards Zayats, however. He's going to be focused down and caught. Of course, Cuckoo with all the night vision right now with Dark Ascension active. Nice fight there for T1. Yeah, that was beautiful. Like uh, committing. Sage is now going to be secured for secrets. That's going to give Nisha a nice bit of bounty as well to help him close out this BKB. He only needs another 400 gold. Crystalis is already making space there for the Aegis. Go swiftly into his inventory. Hook shot in. White Man with a good effort here, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, the immediate silence and uh, Secret will take that kill. Yeah, that's uh, optimistic. Uh, just a bit late. I think a valuable play, though, right? Very low risk, high reward. Yeah, I mean, it's something that's uh, a little unfortunate is that Sephir has the Spirit oh, Vessel. Thompson. Thompson. Mid lane onto Rezo here, assisted by Cuckoo the Silence. But they did get the Wraith back down. Oh, no. No, no, he didn't. Not that's good. That, good. That's a very nice kill. Uh, I was just going to say, they have two urns on T1. Uh, oh. Flock Fiat's 20 Magic 1 charges. Yeah, let's find someone else to go on. Smoking Who up? else is the ideal target? Maybe Rezo. Uh, Syatz as well is holding a position here as he's going to break the smoke, even getting a silence onto Topson. Ooh. Link Dagger put on cooldown as well as Ana. In comes the tree volley. Zayat's tanking through everything. Crystalis, though, he's going to eat a hook shot as he actually morphed on into this one. And then it's going to be the Chrono. Ages. It's going to catch Nisha as well, but the physical damage is really not They're enough. Waiting They're waiting still alive. Ages. And now the counter initiation. Zayat is going to buy back. Here comes Rezo with the roar onto Ana. They're going to need a little bit more as they've got through Cuckoo. He's going to buy back, but the chain stuns onto Ana are perfect. Down he goes. T1 bam. Really not from this fight. Cuckoo thinking about if he should engage or not, and he's gonna think not. They get Nisha, but unbelievably secret. They tank through that chrono. Yeah, no, it's so I, I think they missed time their smoke. Because they get the chrono there, they have the kill on Morphling, but he has ages for one or two more seconds. Oh, oh, does he Experiment. live? Oh my gosh. He actually Oh, he's still alive, though. Okay, the vessel applied, and uh, of course, they still had plenty of damage for him. But Topson, the science experiment, it's going to come at a cost here. Oh, they missed the rolling boulder. That's a bit awkward. Is this an opening? Likely not, especially with the four staff created. Yeah. Topson, he'll go down. No, because they, they have the kill there on Morph, but he has two seconds on Aegis left, right? So they try to let it run out, but chase T1 away. Let's see. Uh, Puppy uh, is just, just 
in the front there. He's in the front, man. Oh, look at this. He's got Holy Locket now, Pi. Even more. Yeah, there we go. Even more heals for himself. Ooh. Hook shot is going to find Nisha. Cuckoo as well. Pops the ultimate, but the BKB gave it some protection for Nisha. They found Thompson as he's using the tree volley. Silent stuff now. Ana as well going on in. The Chronosphere is going to catch on to Chrysalis. Can't, and they actually get through him. He's just on the edge of it. The toss. He's needed a little bit more, short. but he's still alive. And now the roar onto Ana. He gets four stepped away, but Rezo is swiftly giving chase. Puppy actually with two kills in this fight. Chrysalis with one now as Thompson's going to be the final one to drop for T1. Secret, they're just too darn tanky in these Chronos. They refuse to die, Pi. Yeah, right. it's not quite that dire. They don't need a five-man Chrono. But, uh, uh, I mean, if you do land it, you, you, will, you will win. Let's just put it that way. Secret, though, again, We're looking going. for a fight, and the roll is actually going to find Zephyr. Not quite Topson that they on it. The toss back, oh, but unfortunately, it just gives Zayat another target. Topson tree balling on top of himself, using all the trees at his disposal, but... Oh, no, that's not enough. And now Secret immediately back into the base they go. That was just consideration for him now, especially as we look top lane very briefly towards those mid lane of barracks. There's no trees there, right? Topson needs to be quite aware of where he's taking these fights. He needs trees. He needs ammunition. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Ooh, Sight! He's gonna be caught. He's got BKB. He has teleport. He's gonna turn, actually. He's got Chrono. Wants to fight into this one. He'll take a kill onto Zayats and... Oh, he's going for one more? Maybe if he gets perma bashed here onto Nisha. No, not quite. And Zayats is gonna buy back, but the rest of Secret now looking to close the gap. Nisha! Oh, Lincolns. oh the Lincolns. The Lincolns saved him. Very nice. No Chrono now, and he buys back, right? So they just want to huh? rush it up to the high ground. Uh, and there's Aegis, and, and now even Crystal's here in the triangle. He finds a man, White Mon, hoping maybe for a hook shot out, but no chance. Yeah. Too much damage there. Well, Secret are very fast here with what they want to do. Darkness. Two minutes now without Chrono, so let's see. He's That's... playing like he's got Aegis. <laughs> he's so tanky. Look at the heals as well on the Crystalis. Shifting a bit more now into the Agi for the effective heals as Puppy pops the Hooded Defiance. Ana going in, but of course without Chrono. He's a bit weaker, but the Rock Throw is going to catch him into the Pulverize. They've broken the Lincolns, and they've broken the Ana. Down he goes. Zephyr immediately is dead next. Chrysalis is going to get a second. He's going to buy back, though, at least on the Venomancer. But Cuckoo has no BKB. He's got to be very careful here. Chrysalis, exactly. Yeah. They like those odds. I like those numbers. <laughs> yeah. You want? Oh, they just want to go here. Last lane of Barracks stops him using whatever trees he can. And Chrysalis actually nearly died, but still has Aegis the whole time. And now they found Cuckoo. He's got BKB and a nice interrupt there, but it's going to cost the life of Whitemon. He's got oh, buyback. The roar onto Cuckoo in the last seconds of his BKB is going to allow Chrysalis and Reza to beat into him. Down he goes. Does have buyback. And there's Faces Void responding in five. Yeah, this is the last Chrono. rights here. They, they have to figure something out. Thompson, he doesn't have very many trees, though. He's just standing near the, <laughs> yeah, almost one tree. the only one in the base. He needs more ammunition. He needs to go in, looking for a tossback. He'll have to settle for Puppy as in goes Anna. But Puppy with untouchable, he doesn't even care. Cuckoo onto Chrysalis. Aegis up in 18 seconds. So Crystal is happy to fight, happy to even die in this one. As Zayats and Puppy fighting back versus Thompson and Anna. That'll recall Zephyr on back as well as now even Cuckoo. Aegis has been claimed at the very least. But Crystal is responding with full mana and HP. And Tier 1 looking worse for wear as well as there's the damage. Down goes Cuckoo. Down goes White Chrono. Mon. Two dies back. Chrono onto two. But there's just no trees for Thompson and Rezo's in onto him. He can just offer an Ava toss in. Anna now stunned immediately after as Chrysalis jumping on in. The bash is nearly condemning Anna. Zephyr falling low, gets off the Poison Nova. That's his dieback. Thompson doing what he can. At least has a couple of trees, but Chrysalis even fighting into him now. Anna trying to save his teammate here and Chrysalis Ooh. falling low, but Puppy keeping him alive with the nature's attendance and everyone on T1 is dead. Secret, they get the 2-0. They're moving on to the upper bracket finals. Wow. Very well.